Can I make a GTA game using ChatGPT? I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to give me a step-by-step -step procedure on how to create a GTA game in Unity 6. Back in the old days when I was just beginning to code on Unity, I had to search a lot of websites and tutorials to learn how to make something. But now I could just ask ChatGPT will give me the code plus explain the code and how to implement it. Now about me, I'm not a professional developer. I've made a few small games, as you can see in the screen. These are the type of games that I've made. And I'm nowhere in the experience to create a game like GTA. But I have the power of ChatGPT with me. Let's see what we can do. Now if you have a slight idea about game development, you know how a humongous task it is to create a game like GTA. I mean we're talking about millions of lines of code. Now I know I can't make a game like GTA 5 or something, at least we'll go about the 2000s game style, the GTA 3 or Vice City, or maybe at least Gangster Vegas Paradise. Why are we still here? Get ready folks, it's time to make our own Grand Theft Auto. Let's start by creating a Unity project. I'm gonna name it GTA. <laughs> now first we have to find a character for our game. I'm gonna be using Mixamo for the character and model. Mixamo is a site where you can download free character models and animations, all motion captured. So the animations here are pretty realistic looking. I'm gonna use Blender to blend all these animations together. Why is he so oily? Okay, he no longer has baby oil when I imported him to Unity. Now we have to create the movement script for our character. I'm gonna be using ChatGPT for this. Create a third person movement script for Unity. And there you go, ChatGPT is giving me the script and also telling me the step by step procedure on how to implement this. So let's go ahead and make a player script and just copy and paste this. So ChatGPT tells me to make a character controller and also how to set up the animator for this player. Great, so as you can see, I am able to control my character. Now we just need to make the third person camera. Before that, let me adjust his character controller height a bit because it feels like he's moving on air. And now it is fixed. Alright, let's move on to camera. Now make a third person camera script. Alright, there we go. Now let me make a camera script and copy paste this. Okay, this feels a bit too far. Let me adjust the offset. Alright, there we go. We have a third person controller now. The first step is done. So next up we need to create a car because there is no GTA game without cars. So I kept searching for a lot of 3D car models but a lot of them they didn't have the interior model I wanted. They were just empty inside. So I found a really good car with a good interior but the problem was the door was attached to the object. It was a part of the same model. So I decided to separate it in Blender but once I imported it to Blender it had another major issues. And after several failed attempts I finally gave up on the car. I started searching for a new one. And then I found this car. It was not the type I wanted but it still worked. Even inside Blender it had a lot of issues but somehow I was able to fix this one. And I was able to separate the door object. Now I could make an openable door. Now I want my player to get inside the car. Just like how it is in GTA games. So I gave a detailed explanation of what I wanted to chat GPT and it gave me the script. So what this script does is that it creates a range around the player. When there are cars inside this range, the player will choose the car which is the closest. I use the animation of getting inside a car that I got from Mixamo and place the player in a position to get inside the car but it took a lot of trial and error to make it the correct position. I added a driving state in the animation. Once the entering animation was placed correctly, I needed to place the driving animation. Finally after a long trial and error and arguing with the chat GPT, the player was in his right place. I kept making adjustment till it looked good. Then I created the door opening animation inside Unity itself. And this animation will play alongside the animation of player opening the door. So it looks as if he's opening the door. Finally the entering part was done. Now I need to make the exit part. For some reason I wasn't able to get the exit position properly. It kept saying that the exit position didn't exist. Even though I had an empty object named exit position. I kept on asking ChatGPT what is the problem. But even ChatGPT was not able to understand. And then after several hours I found out what's wrong. There was an extra space after exit position. Once I removed that space, it all worked perfectly. Finally, I can now enter the car and also exit the car. I use the same door animation for entering and exiting. And now you can see how the animation changes. I finally implemented an exit and entry system.
Phew, now we need to implement the car driving. So right now our car is like a ghost car. We can go inside it. There is no physics. There is no collision. We're gonna add all of this. Make a car controller script and tell me how to implement it. And ChatGPT is gonna make the whole script for us. We don't have to do anything. I mean we have to attach it and all but the script is done by ChatGPT. Now let's follow what ChatGPT says. Let's add a rigid body to the car object. Then we have to add the wheel collider. Wheel collider in Unity basically handles all the wheel physics. So Chat ChatGPT told me to make it a different object but I thought my wheels had no problem they were all in the same position the origin and axis were same so I could just attach the wheel collider to the wheel object itself simple right but no reality is often disappointing I had to face the consequences yeah I guess I underestimated ChatGPT. My dumbass kept on trying stupid things and all ended up in the same outcome. And finally I dropped my ego and listened to ChatGPT and yeah it worked perfectly. I just need to attach the player to the car. For that I just put a few lines of code and now we are able to drive the car. Then I told ChatGPT to make a car camera script for me. Then in the enter car script I made the camera switch between the player camera and the car camera. Now I can walk around with my player camera and right when I enter the car, the camera switches to the car view. Awesome, now it looks like a GTA game. But we also need action which means gunfight. So let's make a gun mechanics for our player. And as you would expect, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to make a third person shooting script for me. I found a free pistol model, I'm gonna be using this. I scaled up the gun and the bullet in the editor according to the player size. Then I went ahead to mix some more to find the gun animations. And now as you can see, when I click the right mouse button, he's aiming and he's moving accordingly. I wanted the camera to zoom in just like how it is in third person games when he's aiming. But for some reason, ChatGPT was not able to do it properly. So I was like, drop it. I'll tell you the logic. You just implemented the code according to that logic. But you know the business. And I know the chemistry. What I did was, I made a separate target at the right side of the player and when the player aims, the camera switches its target to that empty object and then moves in closer. So it feels like the camera is a bit right of the player so you can see the enemy, just like how it is in normal third person games. And I also made that the crosshair only appears when he's aiming. So now it feels like a third person shooting game that also has a driving mechanics. Hmm, which game does this remind me of? The shoot animation is just the gun moving up, there is no animation on the player actually. Now one thing missing here is the sound and the muzzle flash effect. For creating the muzzle flash effect, I asked ChatGPT to make a particle system to give me the attributes to set but for some reason it was giving me some weird effects. So I had to make a few adjustments myself and finally it came alright. I think so. And then I added the sound and now it actually feels like he's shooting. There's one more thing I want to add that is that he needs to bend up and down when we're aiming accordingly. So this one I didn't know it was going to work. I just gave it a try. I just told ChatGPT what I wanted and it was telling me a lot of complicated steps like avatar masking and creating a new aiming layer in the animator. I didn't understand what I was doing. I just kept on doing what it was saying hoping something would happen but to my surprise it actually worked. So basically what we did was that we made a new layer for aiming and in that there's the idle aiming animation but with the twist that only the upper body is affected by this animation. The lower body is still controlled by the lower layer of animation. So he's walking but he's still being controlled by the idle animation and he's rotating. So I actually didn't know about this feature and ChatGPT was teaching me all this. So yeah I did not expect an AI would teach me how to make games so well. Now I didn't feel like ending the video like this because I wanted to make it look better so I had made a city model for another project of mine. I just imported that city to this game and now as you can see we are driving around inside the city. Like just think about it all this was done with the help of ChatGPT. I couldn't have imagined making something like this without it. It's impressive how far AI has come. Soon there will be game engines where AI will be creating the game for us. We just have to make commands like this. If you like this video hit the thumbs up do consider subscribing and if you want me to continue this series of making a GTA game and add more features in this game, do let me know in the comments. See you guys in the next video.